Hi everyone and welcome. If you want to start your own business, if you want to open your store, online store on Shopify, definitely this video can be handy for you. Because in this video, I want to show you all the things that you need to know to set up your first online store in Shopify. Before I've started to show you all the things that you need to know, now, I want to say that our team left the link in the description panel of this video and you can easily get access to Shopify straight from our video. And first thing that you need to do is to press the start a free trial. Uh, you need to create a new account. Email address, password and your store name. This is all pretty simple except your store name because a lot of names are occupied and uh, such stores exist and the platform will tell you that. I will not pass the registration here because I want to make this video as short as possible because I saw all those videos like one hour long or maybe three hour long uh, about how to how to make business on Shopify. Now, I'm not going to talk about how to make business in Shopify. It's definitely understandable. You buying uh, things and you selling things. Yeah, using marketing campaigns, ad campaigns and so on. I just want to show you how the platform looks from inside and what things you will need to make to set up your first online store. So let's jump straight to the platform, straight inside the platform. That's what we're going to do. OK, then how the platform looks from inside. You have three steps, three simple steps to start. Add a product, customize theme and add a domain. Uh, and that's pretty it. It seems uh, like very and very easy, but not so easy as you can think about that, because a lot of things you need to manage. And uh, let's talk about them. Home orders, products, customers, analytics, marketing, discounts and apps. Uh, home, understandable. This is this one, um, this one page. You see, I have eight days left in my trial. And I need to select a plan to start selling. I'm not planning to sell on this account. Uh, so I just created this account a couple of days ago just to show you all the processes and all the, all the things, all the buttons and how uh, things are happening here. So $29 per month. This is the basic Shopify uh, plan. And you have a difference in transaction fees between the plans and, of course, staff accounts, locations and so on. But the most important is transaction fee. So as um, as you only starting 2% of transaction fee uh, will be applied in 1% transaction fee. Of course, if you count uh, in the long term, it's going to be better to use the $79 per month. But if you're just starting, I suggest you to use uh, the cheapest plan just to start and to understand how the processes are made, how the things are happening and so on, because Maybe you'll find the product that will be not uh, so popular and so on. Just there's a lot of mistakes in Shopify and in, in Internet marketing general in general. And, and definitely you need to know all those. Uh, and if you're just starting and you want to uh, have some practice, practice on the cheapest account. But I suggest you uh, to set up all the things before you'll go live. You'll understand. Uh, all your products and 14 days of trial is definitely enough to set up your first mm, uh, your first online store. Add a product, customize theme and add a domain. We're going to talk about all of this. Orders. Let's talk about the buttons available here. Uh, this menu is absolutely everything that you will need to uh, use on the platform because orders, drafts, abandoned checkouts. It's pretty understandable products. This spot is where you're going to manage all your products and all your items will be added here uh, and you can add, you can delete, remove um, take care about all your inventory because this is also very interesting while you have a physical store uh, and you know that you have like 20 or 30 uh, pieces of such item and definitely it's it can be great and and you can handle all your uh, online shop from one place and you don't need to use an external applications and we're going to talk about that a little bit later actually transfers if you have uh like incomes to your shop maybe you're running a drop shipping or you order some goods and you get in them all the transfers you can make here collections 
I'm gonna talk about collections a little bit later, but um, in a couple words, for example, uh, you selling maybe some clothes, maybe t-shirts or, or other clothes, doesn't matter, and you have new collection, like autumn, uh, like spring collection, for example, 2021, and this new collection, you need to add products first, and then you can add the, those products to collections and so on. Digital gift cards can be sold as a product or sent directly to customers. Mm, uh, like it's a little bit about the internet marketing that you can sell, uh, you can send to your customers a gift card and uh, maybe for those who abandon checkouts or, or some else people or for new customers or you can post in social media that um, we have a gift card and you can um, you can use those to buy from our shop and so on. Customers. Here you'll be able to manage all the information about the people who bought something from you for the first time and or maybe a couple times and all the uh, selling history, all their purchases, purchase history will be available here. Analytics, definitely is absolutely macro uh, of your business and you can, uh, you can find all the information that you need straight here in analytics. If you need more analytics, uh, you can switch on the Google Analytics and so on. I'll show you how to do that in a couple seconds. Marketing. Definitely, you need to run an ad campaigns uh, to get more potential clients, to um, to get more inflow to your business. Okay. If you know nothing about the internet marketing, you can learn more about marketing from. Uh, Shopify uh, tutors and, and teachers you can like watch all those videos uh, of course I wanted to say about the applications and this is huge guys really this is huge uh, there's a snapchat ads it's external applications imagine you, you creating the infrastructure and then you adding something to your uh, ready and set up infrastructure you adding for example sms bump marketing and automation tax marketing sms marketing flows uh, do do you understand how huge is that so you have an internet shop an online store and you can sell more by using this uh, sms bump for example you can send an sms to your customers to physical customers to the new one uh, with the new collections, with the new items, new products, or abandoned checkouts, you can um, remind people the information that you left your uh, checkout. Please get back to our shop and, and finish the deal. Uh, like email marketing and so on and so on. There's a lot of things here and view more marketing apps. And you need to think about that because um, this is absolutely huge. So, campaigns. You can run in marketing campaigns from here and um, automations. You need to take care about automations first because automation is actually the thing that lets you sleep while your online shop is working for you. Uh, discount, discount codes, automatic discounts. So create discount codes and uh, apply them to check out. You can also combine discounts. So learn more about that. That will be handy in the process. Uh, so while I was talking about the applications in marketing here, there's a lot of um, applications not only for marketing, like it's for design, for planning, shipping, bookkeeping, and so on and so on. And you need to visit the Shopify App Store. There are free applications. There are uh, applications uh, that you need to buy. There are applications that will take a small fee, um, but they are free and so on. Uh, take care about that and visit the Shopify App Store and choose the one that suits your business because it's huge, really. Online store. And we jump into your website, of course. Online store is password protected. Uh, only visitors with a password can access your online store from the start because on this account, I don't have a plan. I didn't buy a plan. If I want to disable the password, please, you need to pick a plan, of course. Uh, while we in the preferences, I want to talk about uh, them a little bit. Title and meta description, absolutely important information about your 
um, your homepage about your business and about the description of your business because uh, this is very important as SEO search engine optimizations. Definitely, you need your website to be visible to search engines uh, to get more clients. Uh, it can be invisible. Social sharing image. Um, if you want to share your link, link to your website to some external uh, social media, it's going to be useful because uh, you see how it will be displayed, how it will looks. Google Analytics, as I told you, if you want to use Google Analytics um, on top of analytics that uh, platform provides you with, definitely you need to pass your code from Google here. Facebook Pixel, the same stuff. Customer privacy, uh, you'll read that about and you, you'll understand what to do with that. Password protection, I told you, and spam protection as uh, recapture and so on. This is how it works. Domains. I'm going from bottom to the top. You see tons of goods here. Dot myshopify.com. Not very beautiful domain. Yeah. So you can buy a new domain straight from here. You can transfer domain and connect existing domain if you have one um, already purchased to to yourself. So you can change primary domain and uh, get a normal name of your site. Navigation, uh, as I told you, yeah, the footer, main menu, and, and so on. You can handle all those here. Pages, uh, you can add pages to your site. From the default, you have just a home page. You can add pages to your online store if you need them. But, of course, you need to disable the password. And, uh, and then you'll be able to block pass. Also, you can create a blog post. I will not show it to you how uh, how the things is happening. So themes, that's important stuff because uh, you need your website to be a professional designed and you need your website to be beautiful from the first scene. Uh, so theme library, you can visit, you can use a default theme. It's debut, showcase your brand and products with debut or signature them. Mm. I suggest you not to use the default theme because uh, everybody uses that and it's not professional actually. And a lot of people uh, who will visit your online store will understand because they're buying on Shopify and, and somebody even selling on Shopify and they will understand that you're not a pro, you're just a newcomer because uh, you use the default theme. You can open uh, the library, the theme library, and you can explore free themes or you can buy themes uh, like already pre-built for any types of businesses, uh, literally, and you can use them, you can buy them. I will not show it to you. You're going to figure out. I want to show you how to customize. Uh, I want to show you the editor because the editor is not pretty the same with all others uh, website building platforms because all the website building platforms, external ones, they using the drag and drop features and you can move things around here. You um, you cannot move things around. You cannot edit the text with a double click. For example, everything, every change is happening with this left hand menu. Uh, to add some things. Okay, now first of all, I want to show you that you can move things around to reorder um, the sections and actually mm, you have a classic website with a header with a footer and with a content so you need to um, you need to use the attention interest desire and action scheme to uh, to make people buy from your site it's a little bit about the internet marketing and we're gonna talk about it in other video here I want to show you just uh, image and text, you have all the settings here, all the text you can change here in the left hand menu. Uh, you can use all the settings to, to get the view that you want and so on. Fixed or full width, I like the full width, section height extra large for example. And I wanted to show you the free images. Uh, you have tons of them here and they are all uh, very fantastic quality 
uh, high quality and uh, they are for free you don't need to buy them if you have no your own content you can use this library stock photos great quality and and very and very nice and in a lot of categories you can find a category uh, of your business like coffee work from home good vibes and so on and so on fitness and sports watches kids and babies uh, definitely you will find something for yourself and you can use this content uh, if you don't have your own uh, so how to delete the um, section you need to jump to section itself and here in the bottom you can remove section for example i don't need testimonials for this case or you can add sections that are already pre-built also this blog post collection list featured collection gallery image now logo list and so on maybe map maybe you have a physical store and you can add a map to your website and so on and so on you have a lot of things to play with here but the editing features are pretty the same uh, and you need to add a products all the products as i told you already uh, happening here and you need to uh, take care about the title about the description mm, a lot of people using uh, images and videos in description i don't like to do that i suggest you to use the media uh, spot for um, all the media actually pricing you can mm, like sell something for 100 and compare price it to 150 and it will be crossed on, on the website uh, cost per item for example you're buying it for 25 and selling for 100 then you see the margin and you see the profit that you're getting from one sale inventory uh, track quantity continue selling when out of stock and, and all the things so actually uh, if you're selling some physical stuff physical goods uh, you need to uh, make the inventory and you have a product type vendor and collections uh, you can uh, you can create collections and so on and this tool is absolutely huge and absolutely great to manage your online shop because you have everything in one spot everything in one place and you didn't don't need to use external services um, but you can if you want and that's really really great uh, i want to remind you that if you're just starting please don't buy the um those 79 and 299 plans if you're just starting please use your trial to use your trial you need to find the link in the description panel of this video to find that link uh, pass the registration and after you'll be on the platform you need to set up your shop first 14 days is absolutely enough to take care about all the things that you need to take care of and only then you need to uh, buy a plan because mm, don't pay uh, a plan before you'll you'll handle all your website it's logical okay guys i showed you everything that actually you need to know and you need to use there's tons of information available in the internet and uh, i want you to see all our other videos about that mm, i wish you good luck i hope you enjoyed and i hope this was useful so i wish you good luck again with your business start and grow thanks see you in the next video and bye bye